Hunger is now family member of many Nigerian household. Peter Obi Knox, Tinobu government. Now to the news in full. Obi said that Nigerians' current struggle with food crisis and hunger is saddening, considering the richly blessed and vast arable lands with which the country is endowed as a nation. Former presidential candidate of the Labour Party LP in the 2023 general elections, Peter Obi, has blasted the president's brother to the bullet administration over the increasing poverty and acute hunger in the country. As Nigeria joined other countries on, of the world on Wednesday to mark this year's World Food Day, Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, in his message said that the situation in Nigeria has become so terrible that hunger has now become a member of Nigeria's household. Obi said that Nigeria's current struggle with food crisis and hunger is saddening, considering the richly blessed and vast arable lands that w- with which the country is endowed with as a nation. Lamenting the soaring prices of food items in the country, Obi said that in the past, he used to lament that the majority of Nigerian households spent most of their income on food alone, sparing none for savings and other critical ex- exigencies, but it is heartbreaking to know that most Nigerian households are currently no longer able to sustain to afford sustenance food with their income and that is just the truth before you before the month ends you've used all your money you've gone to collect food with with debt you, you go and collect it and say oh by the end of the month i'm going to pay but now you cannot even afford to buy that where would you even have money to save from where when you've not even gotten food to eat which is very very essential food shelter those those words are still there not to now talk of other things that you would need money for imagine if you have an emergency for for hospital and all of that how do they expect us to survive when we cannot even afford to eat most people are going hungry people are dying due to hunger and because these people are i don't know why they are not seeing it why they are not saying that something is wrong somewhere and they should go back to their drawing board and do something else. We, this four subsidies that they removed, push it back and let us see if things will get better. But no, they are not doing anything because it is not affecting them directly. So they do not care. He said, today, the World Marks World Food Day, a very significant global event that raises awareness about the issue of hunger and food insecurity and serves as a reminder of the need to commit to food security and fight hunger to a standstill. This global observance is particularly important to us in Nigeria, where food prices are skyrocketing every day and basic food items are becoming unaffordable to most people, very unaffordable. If you go to the market today and buy something, before you go tomorrow or the next tomorrow, it has increased and you'll be like, I bought this thing yesterday, why is the price, why is the price suddenly changed? Because things are going up every day, every day. Basic things are now becoming luxury to us in Nigeria. Where, where, where we can't afford to even buy rice, buy gari. Gari that used to, that, they used to say is poor man food. Now we can't even have, afford it again. It has gotten really, really bad. This global observance is particularly important to us in Nigeria where food prices are skyrocketing every day and basic food items are becoming unaffordable to most people. Severe hunger has now become an unfortunate member of many households in Nigeria. The once giant of Africa, a nation that has the most arable land in the continent. Nigerians struggle with a food crisis and hunger today is saddening. Consider the richly blessed and vast arable lands that with which we are endowed with as a nation. In the past, I used to lament that the majority of Nigerian households spent most of their income on food alone sparing known for savings and other critical exigencies. Today, it is heartbreaking to note that most Nigerian households are no longer able to afford sustenance food with their income. Food prices are soaring. Food inflation is skyrocketing. The food crisis is worsening by the day and hunger has graduated to a national crisis. Obi further said in a food security update report released last week, the World Bank likened Nigerians' worsening food security crisis to war torn countries like Yemen, noting that we have a significant rise in the number of people facing acute food shortages and an epidemic of hunger. Imagine we are being likened to a country that is facing war, yet we are not in, in war. 
we are not facing work currently and we are already likened to countries like Yemen that are facing war. So now imagine that war actually erupts in Nigeria. How is it going to be? Lives are just going to be wasted for nothing. It is well. Today, the Global Hunger Index ranks Nigeria among the 20 most hungry nations in the world. In August 2024, it was reported that more than 31.8 million Nigerians were acutely short of food due to security challenges and the removal of forest subsidies. It was also reported that 15.6 million children in Nigeria were facing hunger. According to him, the United Nations predicted that 82 million Nigerians, about 64% of the country's population, may go hungry by 2030 if the government fails to tackle the menace of food insecurity. The domestic food inflation in Nigeria remains among the highest globally, with food prices increasing by 37.5% year on year as of August 2024. I believe this report, sad as they are, only paints a lenient picture of the severity of the food crisis and hunger in reality. Over the years, I have maintained that moving the country from consumption to production remains the surest way of combating food insecurity and pulling the nation out of the present food crisis. I have equally stated unequivocally that the greatest asset our nation has is the vast uncultivated land in the north, coupled with our huge demographics. Therefore, we must be intentional with our agricultural investments. A state like Niger State, which is twice bigger in landmass than the Netherlands excluding water, can neither feed itself nor feed the nation, while the Netherlands exports over $100 billion worth of agro-products annually. Obi stressed if we can prioritize investment in agriculture by combating insecurity which has kept farmers away from the farms and adopting modern ways of mechanized farming, we will be able to combat hunger and achieve food security for the nation. A nation booming in productivity, free from hunger with an abundant food supply, remains our commitment to a new, more prosperous Nigeria. It is possible. Yes, indeed, it is possible. And the option that he just gave now, let insecurity be a thing of the past. If farmers can actually go to their farms to farm, and they don't have to be afraid that some full and herdsman is coming to kill them, some cows are coming to destroy everything that they have planted, they should work on that first. They should take this advice, improve um, me mechanized farming, make sure that everything is available for farmers to farm. Of course, we will have surplus of food because the farmers, are, they have refused to go to the farm because they are always killed. Before you know it, one full herdsman with his cow will go there, destroy his farm, and when they talk, they kill them all of a sudden. So that is just it. Sonia Adere says, Baba Peter, please don't worry yourself, sir. There is nothing like hunger, sir. This regime is the best so far. Baba T is working, is really working to make us suffer. And that is what we are going through. See the option that this man gave. I hope they listen to it and take it to use. These people will not allow him to serve. At least, take to his advice. Because he has a lot of things to, to, to offer. I hope they listen. Now, my listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.